Hi everyone, welcome to another design lesson video. In each video, I'm going to review some key design principles that you should keep in mind when you are thinking about renovating or decorating your space. So if you have a design dilemma and need some answers, feel free to comment in the section below, or you can tweet me your questions on Twitter at Design Chicky. Your dilemma could become one of these design lesson videos right here. In the meantime, let's get to today's topic. Today I'm reviewing my top 10 cost saving tips for kitchen renovations. Renovating your kitchen can be one of the most expensive rooms to renovate in your home. However, there are several ways where you can save your money, believe it or not. So let's get to it. Changing out the color and finish of your cabinetry is the easiest way to renovate your kitchen, giving it a whole different appearance without the major headaches of construction. Plus, when you paint cabinetry, you have the chance to change the hardware by filling in the existing holes and selecting from a wide array of decorative hardware. Imagine going from dated oak cabinetry to this. A striking new paint color like this deep charcoal highlighted by beautiful brass hardware. This is the fastest, most efficient and cost-effective way to transform your kitchen. Where your sink, major appliances and work surfaces sit in your kitchen is extremely important for the functionality of your kitchen. Changing that layout will increase your budget because it means extending plumbing or adding electrical, maybe even removing walls to make that layout really work for you. Anytime you have to move or extend plumbing, your costs go up. That's very true for a kitchen renovation where you might want to move the location of your sink, for instance. That also means a whole lot of additional construction and that increases your costs. So if your kitchen layout works for you today, consider keeping it to minimize those extra costs. You can replace the cabinetry, change the countertops and the backsplash and still keep the layout to minimize your renovation budget. Maybe the best way to dress up your kitchen is to add something to it and I've got some great examples of what to add and where. First off, I love the idea of adding architectural elements to cabinetry. This is a corbel, a decorative bracket. It looks great under upper cabinets like this and adds an element of sophistication so easily to your cabinets at a very low cost. Secondly, why not add some decorative feet to the toe kick area of your cabinets? This is so easy to do and it makes it look like you've got furniture pieces instead of stock cabinetry. Let's say you have standard flat panel drawers or stock cabinets in your kitchen. You can create the illusion of a shaker door by adding trim to the doors and painting it all out. Or you can add this great X detail with flat trim to the ends of your kitchen island. It looks fantastic and doesn't cost a lot of money. It's big impact for a small budget. The latest trend in kitchen renovations is to have your cabinetry extend all the way up to the ceiling. In many instances, cabinetry falls short of the ceiling, leaving a gap between the top of your cabinets and the ceiling of your kitchen. One way to deal with this gap is to fill it in. A good cabinet maker may be able to add small cabinets in this space, but perhaps a less expensive option, since we're talking cost savings here, is to fill it in with just some plywood boards, trim, and crown moldings. This will lead your eye up to the ceiling, making your kitchen feel taller and giving it the update we're after. Paint it all out the same color as your cabinetry and you'll have the look of new cabinetry for a very low cost. Using appliances that do double duty means you have less appliances and less appliances means more room for cabinets, storage and work surfaces. Instead of having a microwave take up valuable real estate, why not consider a combination microwave and over the cooktop vent? Manufacturers are making this particular appliance look great, so save the extra appliance and locate it above the stove. Another example is using a slide-in stove instead of purchasing a cooktop and a separate built-in oven. Isolating the space below the cooktop for a separate appliance brings up your appliance costs, but also adds costs to the specialized cabinetry needed for this configuration. Plus, the slide-in option is usually less expensive than buying these two items separately. Let's face it, cabinetry is expensive. Perhaps you can forego some cabinetry. Having open shelves gives you easy access, visually and physically, to all of your kitchen needs, but it also helps your bottom line. Simply put, less material means less money. So if you can cope with having all your plates and cups exposed, go for it. Save on upper cabinetry. 
Every kitchen needs a backsplash, and it can really define the overall look of your kitchen and your new kitchen renovation. But it can also be a costly addition to your budget. So instead of cutting out that beautiful design element altogether, consider adding it in small doses. I love the idea of consolidating your bang for your buck by installing a great backsplash tile at your stove. It's a great focal point and it means you can add a less expensive option to the rest of the kitchen without sacrificing design. The key here is to splurge for a small area instead of mixing the whole idea. Sometimes the biggest challenge isn't your kitchen cabinetry, but the flooring it sits on. Flooring can be a difficult and costly element to renovate. For instance, let's say the flooring continues into the dining room or is open to a living room and removing the floor in the kitchen means your kitchen renovation is now a main floor renovation. All of a sudden your project just got bigger. So why not ignore the floor altogether by adding a large beautiful rug to the floor in your kitchen so that now your focus is no longer on the ugly tile below but how warm and inviting your kitchen is with a great area rug. Okay, so there's a recurring theme here. Cabinetry is expensive. A new kitchen island is a great way to add character and save money by repurposing some other type of furniture. You can incorporate an old harvest table or a chest of drawers, maybe even some low bookcases with a common top for a work surface. There are lots of ways to incorporate other pieces of furniture, and if you're handy and a thrift shopper, you can create a pretty awesome kitchen island like no other. We have a great video on kitchen islands right here, so take a look and let your creative juices flow. So there you have it, my top 10 cost-saving tips for kitchen renovations. You can save money and still have the kitchen of your dreams. You just have to be creative and splurge in the right places. If you've tried any of these tips yourself, I'd love to see the results, so don't hesitate to leave your comments in the section below. Also, if you have another tip not listed here, I'd love to hear about it as well. Renovations are expensive, every penny counts, and we love sharing information on how to help you save. That's it for this design lesson. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. We're now sharing videos every Monday, so subscribe and you won't miss a thing. Also, you can connect with me on Twitter by following at Design Thanks for watching everyone, happy renovating, and I'll see you next time.